Oh, there you are, YouTube. So I'm still watching Hacks. Actually, I'm not still watching it anymore because I just finished the show. I watched, what was it, seven, eight, nine, ten, those episodes. I think in the previous video review that I did for this show, I said there were eight episodes. I'm not sure why I thought there were eight episodes. Is that how the MCU sh shows go? Is that, that only eight episodes? I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking it was eight episodes, but it's definitely ten episodes, and I watched four of them today. And what we got with these episodes, I'm going to sort of review them all together just because... I don't know, when you binge like that, they all sort of blend together, right? So it's it's difficult to... I've got a hair hanging here somewhere. It's kind of difficult to um, separate everything. But one thing that was nice to see, we have these side characters like uh, Depper Jr. And... <laughs> uh, you know, well, just a variety of, of characters, her COO. And then, um, I don't know, am I going to spoil, I don't, I'm not going to spoil what happens to him, but we're seeing there and her manager. Okay. Side characters are getting more play, which is really nice. We're getting almost full episodes dedicated to them. I would say that's more the case for Deborah's daughter. So that was kind of nice to see. Um, but yeah, just, uh, everybody is... On, on the side that we've been seeing, everything that we've been watching in those early episodes has sort of been leading up to their arcs. And uh, they are, you know, sort of either completed or a little more fleshed out in these final four episodes, which was really nice. And Ava and Deborah, their, their chemistry continues to go very well. We're watching a lot of great interactions between them. Some highs, some lows, some extreme fun, happy moments, but then a lot of angry, turmoil, backstabbing, um, cold shoulder. We're, we're getting so much between the two of them in just these four episodes. And I just, I feel like the pacing, that's what I am very impressed with. The evolution of their relationship has just been fleshed out so well and well paced. Nothing felt rushed, nothing felt like it was happening too slow. It all felt very natural in the you know the timeline in which the show presents their relationship. So I don't know, I have to commend the show for that. I mean, I know I'm not watching it week to week to week. I watched it in three days, so maybe it's a different experience for people who are we're watching it from week to week. Maybe that's a little bit different. I know there are shows, you know, like right now, the MCU show Loki, I'm not that interested in it. So I'd rather binge it than do it from week to week. So I'm gonna wait to watch it until it's all available because I don't care. So I feel like I need to binge it. Otherwise, if I wait week to week, I'm just going to lose interest and not finish it. That's not the case for this. That's not why I binged this show. I binged it just because I learned about it after the fact and then watched it um, in binge style just because I can't wait for the next episode, that sort of thing, because I really enjoy it. And um, yeah, I just think it's successful all the way through and it leaves us on a cliffhanger because I almost call her Hannah because Ava <laughs> Hannah's the actor's name because of Ava and um, and and, and uh, have I been calling her Rebecca I keep thinking Deborah I keep I think I did that last episode I don't know last episode last my vlog or whatever but Ava and Deborah uh, they just have while, while their relationship is great, and we're seeing a lot of good human interaction, a term that is used on the show, uh, there isn't a lot of communication, important communication, that happens between the two of them. And that's because they, you know, keep one another at a distance for various reasons. Um, you know, both of them are working through personal things, things in their past that are affecting their current relationships. And because of that failure to communicate 
certain backstabby things happen and they're too afraid to, I guess, confront one another or, you know, tell the goings on of their lives. This is, I think, more Ava's, is ha finding it difficult to approach uh, Deborah with, with certain things that are going on in her life. And that's sort of what the cliffhanger is, too. She has something that she needs to tell her. And I think at this moment in their relationship that Deborah would understand as long as Ava's given the chance to explain. And the show just stops. So we have to, I don't know, we're sitting here wondering, is she going to say something? Is she going to tell Deborah what's going on, what she did, or is she going to keep it quiet? Um, I don't know, but there's definitely a cliffhanger and a season two I hear is happening. So I think we will find out. I don't think Ava is going to reveal the information she has in the break. I think if it happens, it will happen in season two. So, uh, I don't know. I'm curious to see how it goes. But this was this was great. There was a an episode that had a funeral in it, and their connection there um, was just so good. The vulnerability that was happening, but infusing it with comedy and jokes was fantastic. And I'm just loving this show. I, though... I am biased. I, I just kind of like behind the scenes of stand-up comedy, whether fiction or non-fiction. And this is, so this is right up my alley. I like that show Crashing. That was another one um, that that was really good. I like that movie Funny People. I like, uh, what what's the, there was, uh, I'm Dying Up Here, that Jim Carrey produced one. I think I talked about that in a previous vlog. But, I don't know, it's, it's a topic that I enjoy, so this show is right up my alley. And, um, yeah, I like it. Give it a watch. I can't wait for season two, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.